Years ago there was a really bad one, one of my best friends got killed in a car accident um, on his way to football which was a fairly nasty thing in my own club and I was a secretary at the time and that was a pretty horrific event and it made a real um, challenge to the community to recover from it, so uh, that was a, a terrible thing that happened. Our club Imperials and Tail and Ben, we started the, what we call the Steph Lay Cup and the Motor Accident Commission really got behind that and provided a lot of support and sponsorship and made it a really big day and, and um, yeah, and it's really good and they, uh, they had videos out there and, and really um, promoted the, the awareness of, of road safety. The majority of these crashes involve young men from rural areas and they're caused by one simple thing. Mates not stopping their mates from making bad decisions on the road. So the Motor Accident Commission decided to help empower young men to speak up and in doing so, introduced a new word into the vocabulary, metamorphosis. A campaign kicked off on television. Hello. Every skilled kiddly knows that a caterpillar turns itself into a... Lovely, isn't it? In a similar but less than lovely way, your can turn into something too. All they have to do is get behind the wheel of a motor car and sometimes they turn into a total or a massive or even a complete and utter... It's called metamorphosis. But there's an easy way to stop your mate from morphing into something rather unpleasant. Observe the following reenactment. <laughs> Remember, it's up to you. Yeah, they both work, I think, for sure. You, um, you always remember those ads on TV, and even though someone might make a joke about it when you're sitting around having a drink, I think that the message gets across. Billboards, newspaper adverts, plus posters and coasters in SA Community Football League club rooms across the state. I know we've got the, the coasters at our club, and again, they get com commented on, or you know, they, someone will flick a coaster across and say, you know, I mean, you know, a wanker or whatever it is, so, sorry, W anchor. Um, yeah, so you, you use those things um, as props, I suppose, to, to get the message across. I think that's really good. Rather than trying to um, tell people what to do, uh, it's a, and getting that message across by uh, being authoritarian, it's really good that, that's, that the humour's involved. It gets the message across um, in a light way, and I find that people are taking more notice of that. Rather than being told to do something, they'll tend to rebel and do the opposite, where with the way that the message's been delivered with the, with the current campaign, it's really good, and people embraced it um, and have a laugh about it and actually talk about it uh, more than they would if, if they'd just been told what to do sort of thing. So, yeah, I think it's, it, the message has been getting through really well. By partnering with the SA Community Football League, we took the conversation to 25,000 players representing our key target audience, young country males. An army of 190 club ambassadors were also recruited to be the local voice of the campaign. Equipped with toolkits explaining the issues, these ambassadors were encouraged to help spread the road safety message. We also worked with South Australia Police to present road safety education at all 190 clubs across the state. And for social engagement, we ran a Facebook competition that let people share their road safety messages with the chance to win cash prizes for their club. But more importantly, distributing a safe driving message to their mates at the same time. I think Facebook in general is a, a really awesome tool for, for getting any message out there and the fact that you're using it, I think that really does focus on the, the younger generation as well. We're really passionate about road safety and uh, with your help we think we're making a difference. Uh, last year we saw some great results in terms of uh, regional uh, road trauma, uh, some big reductions and this year again we're tracking on the right uh, the right trend, so we're about, uh, I think, 9 or 10 down, and we were the same time last year, and about uh, 16 down in terms of fatals, we are over the three-year average, so 
the road toll is heading in the right direction and uh, we can't do that by ourselves, it's with your support as well, so thanks very much for what you do out there in the regions with your clubs and communities, it's much appreciated. Sometimes I guess you know bad things happen and then years later people sort of tend to forget a little bit but with this sort of you know the Motor Accident Commission promoting it year after year and it just keeps people aware and makes people realise how serious an issue it really is. So, yeah, it's really good the work they're doing and, and I think obviously the, the statistics should you know show that the numbers have really cut down. It is good when you see that, that younger people themselves are stepping up, embracing this campaign and trying to make a difference within their own footy club. It's amazing uh, the comments that we've had um, with the signs that are out on country roads and uh, uh, in fact I know interstate newspapers have run the articles and uh, while they take a bit of a joke at it they really know that we're trying to make a difference. You look out for them they'll look out for you and uh, that's what it's about uh, recognising and especially in that football club we're a team, it's a team atmosphere and off the field you're a team as well and you look after each other. The partnership between Mac and the South Australian Community Football League is a win-win for everyone it's, uh, I think and uh, and it's been uh, really good over the last couple of years to see it develop and to see uh, some of the programs that are out there now that they're running together and hopefully, well I think it is having an impact on, on road trauma in the rural areas, so it's fantastic. Metamorphosis. Mates looking after mates to reduce our road toll.